the Rush Limbaugh show coming on. Let me turn that off. I don't really need to listen to the program. I can tell you, today's August 10th, 2009. He's going to spend the next three hours extolling the virtues of the great health care that the United States has and how wrong the Obama plan for medical insurance is for people in this country. I don't really need to listen to that. I can only tell you that I'm 52 years old. I work seven days a week, 70 hours a week to make a living driving this cab. I'm hardly a bum. And I can't afford medical insurance. I can't afford the $800 to $1,000 a month that it would take to purchase it as an individual. Now, I have what are called pre-existing conditions. I have high blood pressure. I've been treated for gout. And seven years ago, I was admitted to a hospital, which they wrongly put on the form. I was having chest pains. I had an ear infection, which was causing vertigo. There's a clear difference between vertigo and chest pains. But no insurance company will insure me because they think that I'm high risk. Now, what Rush Limbaugh and Sean Hannity won't tell you, they'll tell you that we have the greatest health insurance, I mean, excuse me, the greatest health care in the world, which we do. From a scientific and biological standpoint, yes, we do. But we don't have access to it. Not all people. It's estimated 45 to 50 million, probably 48 million people don't have insurance because they won't tell you that the insurance companies won't insure you if you have pre-existing conditions or severely limit whatever coverage would be available and will drop you if you make claims and on and on it goes not even mentioning what they do with property and casualty insurance here in Florida because they won't cover windstorm damage but that's um, that's a completely different uh, issue and being a private contractor they don't my uh, my company doesn't provide it as a group plan in fact fewer and fewer employees with um, in today's world actually offer group uh, insurance uh, I, I did find a company out of Orlando uh, shifting sands mutual or was it um, sinkhole insurance company that um, was willing to offer me some insurance which amounted to like a, a $5 off coupon or 10% off on Tuesday with no prescription coverage. Uh, so, I mean, what, what use is that? And if you've known anybody in this economy with 10.5% unemployed who lost their jobs and are, they're trying to maintain their insurance through COBRA, well, you don't have a job, so you have no income, but somehow you're supposed to pay the five to 600 a month on your COBRA payments to keep your insurance up so people were just letting that go so people weren't being covered then and all that's going to happen with the president's plan is 48 million people are going to get insurance it's just insurance no one is going to lose their civil liberties no one is going to lose their constitutional rights no one is going to have to live in a state of communism. England has national health care and they also have civil rights. You see, no one lost anything because they got insurance. Yes, Rush Limbaugh, we do have the best medical care in the world, but we have one of the worst insurance systems to the point that our insurance is almost a scam. And this is something that has to be addressed. This is part of the change that the president was talking about. And I pick up people here in Tampa all the time, rich people and so forth, take them to the airport. And the fare may run $17 and they give me $20 bill and say keep, keep the rest as a tip. And I'm supposed to buy my insurance out of that three dollar tip. Woo -wee. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm willing to risk my life to take them to the airport, but I'm not good enough to have insurance? No. No, something's wrong. Something's really wrong with the system and it needs to change. And these mindless robots that show up at these protest meetings because they've been listening 
to uh, Sean Hannity and to Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh, and they get organized to it. And I, I bet the majority of them have lost their insurance, yet somehow they think, we don't want to live in socialism, yet they don't even know what they're talking about. They, they don't even know what they're talking about. In fact, they're, they're almost becoming a danger. Do you know that Kathy Castor had to leave the meeting the other night because the protesters were becoming so virulent that she, she, she feared for her, for her own safety? And her and her handlers got her out of the room? And that's supposed to be civil discord? That's not. That, that's, bu that's bullyism. That's, that's, that's bu using boorish tactics. That, that's not what, a, what civil discourse is. But anyway, I hope this thing passes because I need the insurance. I'll be healthier and I'll be a better provider of service in my business. Thank you. That's about all I got to say about it.